Hi everyone. Um, today I wanted to show you how to use um, Make the Cut to do um, a print and cut. So I'm going to be using the latest version of Make the Cuts as well as this cute little candy shop file screen, um, from ScrappyDoo.com. It's in their Christmas sets. And I'm going to be cutting it on the Black Cat Cougar. Um, the video is going to be in two parts. The first part is how to set it up and get it ready to send to the cutter um, and make the cuts. And the second part of the video will be how to set the cougar up and how to insert the mat and things like that. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I want to hide all of the layers. Now I'm going to open just the very bottom layer which is the outline basically of the image. Now at this point you could leave that and not mess with it but I like to put a shadow layer behind mine as I like um, the black around it. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to do show layer. This also gives you a cut layer so if your cut isn't exactly perfect when you do print and cut you'll have a little bit of something to play with. So that's good enough for me so I'm going to um, click accept. Now I want to go ahead and turn all of the layers back on. So I have my candy shop. Now I want to be sure it's selected and since I'm using the cougar I need to change the X and the Y to 2.0. The reason for this is it just makes it easier to set the laser when you do it this way um, when you get ready to cut it um, versus the one inch by one inch on the expression that a lot of people use. So I'm going to change this X so that it reads 2.0 and you'll see that my Y is already there so that's fine. So I'm going to click enter to get it to accept that. Now at this point I want to lock all. That's to keep me from shifting it and off of the two inch mark when I get ready to print. Now, to be able to do this using the laser on the Cougar, I need to make sure that the registration marks print. So to do that, you'll go to File, Print Options, and you'll see that mine's already checked, but you want to make sure that Print Registration Marks is checked. And I'll show you what those are by going to File, Print Preview you'll see these little registration marks around the image. This is where you will set your laser, which we'll do in part two of the video. At this point, you're ready to cut. So you'll just go to File and Print and select your printer and then send the image. I'm not going to do it because I've already sent mine to the printer. So I'm going to cancel. Now, once you have it printed, you're ready to set your image up to be cut. And the way you want to do that is to go back over here and click on your eye and do a Hide All. Now, I'm going to go back down here to the bottom of my layers. At this point, if you don't want a black outline, and you may have printed it just in case you were off, you would have a black outlined edge and not a white one, and that's fine. Um, but I want the black outline, so I'm going to turn that on as my cut layer. And normally, I would change the file name right here, and I would label that cut layer. So if I wanted to do it again, I would know which one is my cut layer. Now your file is ready to be sent to the cutter and make the cut. So you would click on the scissors, and you'll see mine's already set for the cougar. Click on your laser registration. Now, these numbers are going to be different, and if you've never done a print and cut before, you might need to play with those numbers a little bit to get it to where you need it to be. These are the numbers that work for me, so I'm just going to click, click Apply, and then you would click Start to send it to your cutter. I'm going to end the video at this point and switch over um, to setting up the Cougar for you all, and I will be right back with you.